Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now April 10th of 2024 and given that all divisions over at the Walt Disney Company are showing no sign of a resolution right now, not for 2025 and most certainly not for the rest of 2024 when it comes to Lucasfilm, when it comes to Marvel Studios or anything like that revolving especially around Walt Disney Animation Studios, Bob Iger and the rest of the board of directors over there and the rest of the executives as well are really, you know, just in this full-on panic mode on what to really do with this company that's an ever-failing one at that. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So, Marvel Studios, we know that Deadpool 3 is the one movie that Disney is 100% banking on. We've already talked about that, how that's why Bob Iger keeps on really desperately pushing the reshoots, but at the same exact time, it sounds very hypocritical because at the same exact time, they're pushing and shoving DEI elements in there as people like Ryan Reynolds, Sean Levy, Rhett Reese, and Paul Wernick, even Hugh Jackman, are all fighting and battling against the Disney heads to prevent the reshoots from getting plagued by DEI. Now, with that being said, Reynolds recently just took serious action against the Walt Disney Company, and what it really means for Bob Iger and the rest of the board, as well as Kevin Feige over at Marvel Studios. Now, specifically on top of all of that, what makes this even all the more interesting has a lot to do with how Reynolds is becoming more and more of a powerful force against Disney, all right? This is like the one type of actor that's really been standing up against Disney and getting people to group up with him to really take a stand. Now, with all divisions at the Walt Disney Company already facing trouble for 2025, one major development now has to do with actor Ryan Reynolds and the production of Deadpool 3. A crucial update to the entire situation actually involves the recent progress on the reshoots that are looming for the last week of April that will last until May. One shocking turn of events actually that recently happened behind the scenes after all the Deadpool 3 drama that's been going on with the film involved how Reynolds recently had a heated exchange with the Disney heads including CEO Bob Iger and even Marvel Studios boss Kevin Feige after their push for DEI for the third act of reshoots for Deadpool 3 that Ryan and his team have been desperately attempting to put a stop to. One serious action however that Ryan recently took against Bob Iger is that he is now dropping his involvement from numerous Marvel projects, many of which are movies, both as a writer and an actor to serve as yet another ultimatum toward Disney and it is reportedly creating much tension for the Disney Board of Directors and Bob Iger since they knew some of the Marvel projects, both films and television shows, that were going to focus on the character Deadpool and many different X-Men characters mainly, would absolutely need Ryan Reynolds to make them successful. This comes after Disney's Bob Iger decided to drop Hugh Jackman's Wolverine from a couple of projects and still also refuses to reinstate Jackman's best scenes into Deadpool 3 that involved his wars in the Civil War, World War II, and Vietnam, as Iger felt they were way too violent for Deadpool 3, even with its R rating. Now Reynolds, of course, on top of everything here, Reynolds previous had a shocking 10 project deal with Marvel Studios. Combined, it was a mixture of films and TV shows. Reynolds reportedly just bailed out of four of those projects, three of which were films focused on the introduction of the X-Men and the Avengers in various ways and interactions that would be demonstrated by Marvel. Another reason why Reynolds bailed out of those projects is that Iger was shifting away from source material for some of the most beloved stories from the Marvel comics that were pushing the gender swapping and race swapping nonsense yet again. And though Ryan has had many victories with Deadpool 3 in preventing DEI, for the other projects, not so much, and this is what made him bail out altogether. As of now, Disney is said to be canceling those said projects that was going to focus on Deadpool at the forefront of those stories as Iger wants to adapt the MCU 
to only expand what is successful as they begin to test the waters for what works in 2024 and 2025, hence why they are shifting away from sequels. Financially speaking, this is a setback for the Walt Disney Company by having far fewer projects now with Ryan Reynolds, and it's beginning to put Bob Iger into a panic mode as more emergency meetings were recently ordered to take place sometime toward the middle of this month in order to re reorganize the timeline of the Marvel Universe. Now guys, let me just pause here before I move on. Now the problem with this is that you have people like Bob Iger that are doubling down on DEI with many different projects and to know that Ryan and the rest of the team are really through and have had enough when it comes to Deadpool 3 and their overall push for DEI with the reshoots, which by the way, they're gaining a lot of victories on that. But Bob Iger and the rest of the board, they seem so stubborn to the point where they doubled down on other projects, pushing the concept of race swapping, gender swapping, and or changing slash altering source material, something that Ryan Reynolds really had no interest in at all. He, want, he did not want to be a part of that at all whatsoever, and I get it. I, I totally understand it, and I always like to compare the guy to Henry Cavill because... Uh, you know, Cavill and Reynolds, they are people that believe in source material, right? The products that will make the audience satisfied. And when you try to change that and shift it around, especially when it comes to Disney, that's when you're going to lose like 90% of your audience without a doubt. Now, as of now, Reynolds, of course, is still to this very day grouping with Hugh Jackman, the Deadpool 3 writers, and Sean Levy, the director, as they too are not said to be in the planning stages of also, of course, also exiting many Marvel projects now, thanks to Ryan Reynolds and his defense for source material to be projected, of course, and keeping DEI elements out of projects in order to make Marvel films and shows successful. This is still an ongoing situation. Now, again, we know that people out there like Ryan Reynolds I think are much needed in the film industry I guess when it comes to at the very minimum the superhero trend of films right because when it comes to Disney they really lost their way with the superhero movies I think there's no doubt about that they really have no idea what they're doing anymore because now not only are they breaking away from source material but they're also shoving in DEI elements and Deadpool 3 is the one exception they know that they need at least one movie to be successful in 2024 for the MCU to not look foolish. And that's why Bob Iger and the board have been caving to Ryan Reynolds' demands, you know, through and through, on and off. Maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. And so it really makes you wonder, are they going to continue to cave to Ryan Reynolds' demands for the lineup of films for 2026 and beyond. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But as of now, Reynolds' involvement with the MCU just got drastically smaller, and this is already beginning to cause Bob Iger and the board to rush in and reorganize that MCU timeline with Kevin Feige. And about Kevin Feige, you know, he too is a part of the problem. It's not all Bob Iger, it's not just the board. It's also Kevin Feige, but let's be real, a lot of this stems from BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street. Everyone needs to know about the top three shareholders that run the show over at the Walt Disney Company, funding all of the nonsense related to DEI and ESG. So anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.